When water boils, say either in a pot or a kettle, bubbles appear near the heat source and then rise through the water. These bubbles, though, aren't air trapped inside the water. Instead, these bubbles are actually water which has been converted from its liquid state into the gas state. The gas takes up more room than it did when it was a liquid, so it forms a bubble, and the bubble being lighter than the surrounding water rises until it reaches the surface and mixes with the air. You can see the consequences of this effect when you have a pot with a lid on it. The lid is normally cooler than both the pan and the water, and as such when the steam hits the underside of the lid it will condense back into water. So even if no water splashes onto the underside of the lid, it will quickly be coated in water. When you see water vapour coming from a boiling pot or a kettle, what you're seeing is not actually steam. Instead, it's the steam which is actually condensed back into water vapour, much like a cloud or a fog. If you take care and closely look at the spout of a kettle, when it's boiling, you'll see that the visible water vapour only appears a little distance actually above the spout. Below that visible layer is an invisible steam layer. Once this steam actually mingles with the cooler air, it then condenses back into water vapour, which is actually visible. Steam itself is actually invisible, just like the air. It's only when the water transforms back into tiny liquid droplets that it actually becomes visible.